peace and love, my beautiful, beautiful believers. Let's get into this energy, okay? Let's get into it. I hope you're doing well. We're tapping in, and this is your temperature check. Yes, it is. Let's get into it, all right? Beautiful ones. Oh, gosh. You know, I've been having difficulties uploading my recordings. I've been getting these, live, these lives in for you all. So I just want to let you know I love you all. Uh-huh. And I am getting things situated when it comes to that really soon. Okay, beautiful ones. So be on the lookout. Make sure your notifications are on for this live energy. All right. Yeah, you know, come on, let's get it. Your energy is wild, okay? It is. It's a lot going on. Uh, somebody definitely, when it comes to, you know, some competition, they're finding out that they are no competition, okay? Five of Wands is in reverse. Yeah, when it comes to competition, there is none. You are your only competition, Libra, okay? You are your only competition, you have the twins to come out, okay? Possible Gemini energy, as well as some fire energy with that five of wands that came out in reverse for you all, all right? And we got Pisces energy here with the moon and seven of pentacles, all right? So let's go ahead, let's tap into this energy. Let's see what's going on with you all, beautiful ones. Overall energy is a magician. Somebody is definitely here trying to manifest you in the energy, okay? Look, you got somebody who feels like they are very powerful and they can actually twist your mind into thinking that you would ever take them back in the energy. Let's tap into this five of wands energy, okay? Oh, look, I got to let it come out the way it wants to come out, okay? So, <laughs> look. There's a king of wands that is here, all right? And they're going through a lot of grief and regret, possible Sagittarius energy, all right? And they're wanting a new beginning, all right? They're in the synergy of a page. You know, it's like a kid wanting candy from a candy store, okay? And it's a king of wands energy, a Sagittarius energy. Now, we are in this pre-shadow of Mercury retrograde. So there is this intensity for people to come back into your life or feel that there's some type of unfinished business. They're really manifesting this, okay? This is the magician here. Give me the two. Give me the twins, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Give me the twins. Give me the lovers. Give me the lovers. All right. Now, there's a new love offer, all right? You're single at the time or you're in this energy of just feeling really really self-sufficient okay that's what's going on in the energy and there is a new love offer okay this is someone that has a cup you know for you a lot of emotions they're holding emotions for this nine of pentacles energy tell us more about the lovers uh-huh all right there we go we got a flipper yeah this is ordained okay and this is a protected union all right, it is, and it's with the Empress. Here you go. Look at you. All right, this is a protected union with you. All right, you're protected in this energy. Okay, so let's tap into this moon energy. Okay, give us the moon for Libra. Give us the moon for Libra. Give us Libra's energy with the moon spirit. Thank you. Oh, okay. I didn't mean for that to come out, but I guess it was meant. All right. So, Ten of Swords is here. And this is Five of Swords. Whoever it was that stabbed you in your back, which looks to be this King of Wands energy over here, okay? In the past, right? They stabbed you in your back, and now they stand defeated in your energy, okay? They have to put their swords down, okay? This is someone that has been set down, okay? I'm hearing sit, boo-boo, sit, okay? This person is definitely, you know, tripping off of you, okay? Definitely, because they stabbed you in your back 10 times. This is somebody who was very deceitful and see what you did as you move forward, all right? This energy is not grasping you moving forward, okay? They're not a fan of it, all right? Let's talk about it some more. Ten of Swords with the Five of Swords. That's a lot of swords and a lot of lies. 
a lot of hidden secrets as well as what I'm getting. Okay, yeah. Yeah, and this is somebody's baby daddy. It could be, you know, a father figure of some sort, okay? That is the truth, all right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you make this individual happy. But I'm hearing too little, too late when it comes to this happiness, okay? We're going to get a lot of this energy. Look, happy. They want to be happy on the home front, domestically. They want harmony in their lives, all right? Tell us about the Seven of Pentacles here. Because the Seven of Pentacles is some investments that you've made, okay? Time as well. Let's talk about it. Yeah, heartbreak and the devil, okay? Someone feels like they invested in you, okay? Mm -hmm. And they're heartbroken. Yeah. You could have spent time and energy with this person. But the Three of Swords is Libra. That's you, okay? And somebody's obsessing over this, all right? It's as if they feel a sense of entitlement to the Empress, okay? You see this energy? Yeah. Give me the Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Swords for my beautiful Libras. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I mean, it's the devil and it's coming out for you because you're not wanting to connect with this energy, okay? They're trying to steal the reading, but you're you're fine being self-sufficient. You are good, all right? But this energy is not good, all right? Give me the devil with the three of swords. This is someone who is really taking heartbreak heavy, all right? Let's see. Yeah. They want a new beginning, okay? They definitely do. This is a Knight of Pentacles. This, they, this is someone trying to tell you, look, I'll do better, okay? Take your time with me. I have a solid offer this time, okay? But I'm not getting that you're down with that. But there is a new beginning in your energy with this Ace of Wands, okay? Let's talk about this Ace of Wands energy for Libra. Ace of Wands with the devil. Ace of Wands, all right, there we go. Yeah, look, you close out a cycle on this energy and you have a new beginning. You do, all right? The world is here. You've closed out a cycle and you have a new beginning moving forward, okay? Possible relocating, traveling over a body of water is what I'm getting. Let's get back into this energy because there's a union here that is protected, all right? It is a protected union with the Hierophant, the Lovers, and the Knight of Cups. So give me the Hierophant with the Knight of Cups. All right, there we go. Mm, yeah. So what I'm getting is this new beginning that you have when it comes to the Fool, all right? This new beginning, they're watching you, okay? This is someone that is... You know, not only are they paying attention to you, but they're also going in. They're doing a lot of thinking in this energy, okay? Let's talk about it. Give me, give me this here, Hierophant with the Fool. Okay, thank you. Yeah, this person is working. They have a skill set. This is somebody that wants to bring some type of balance in the energy. This is your energy with justice here, okay? So there's a balance being brought to this here, okay? There's definitely justice, okay? When it comes to a new beginning with who it is that you're destined to collaborate with is what I'm getting. Give me this Eight of Pentacles. Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Pentacles for my Libras. All right. Yeah, that is the truth. This is the sun. This is somebody from a past life. This is a union in motion, okay? This is definitely someone who makes you feel good and nostalgic in the energy okay that's what's going on yeah and that's the karma that's the justice this is how things are being balanced out by you okay but by the universe actually right mm -hmm. let's talk about it some more oh, give me a second yeah this energy is something else you got this here um king of wands that is trying to you know return from the past and your energy and you have this new love, all right? This new love. I'm looking forward to this energy for you all. Yeah, they're here for the Empress, definitely, okay? Wow, back to back, your energy is real potent. All right, give me the sun with the Eight of Pentacles. This is something beautiful that is being made together, all right? It's a promising, bright 
future, okay? It's what I'm getting. Yeah, strong, strong. Someone's manifesting this. They could have a Leo placement with the sun being here and the strength coming out on top of it, definitely. They could have a Leo rising is what I'm hearing in the energy. Uh-huh, yeah, high priestess is here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely Leo rising. There's a heavy first three sun moon rising uh, Leo placement in this energy somewhere, okay? So we have this somebody's baby daddy, this energy of a businessman who's been stabbing their back, wants to put the swords down, stands defeated in your energy. Give me the King of Pentacles, spirit. King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Yeah, they're feeling left out in the cold and they have a bunch of financial issues is what I'm getting. Yeah, they're financially stressed is what I'm getting. They are. And you close the cycle out on this energy and spirit, what's next with the world? What's next with the world here? The cycle being closed out for my little What's next with this energy? A tower, a tower. So you closed a cycle out. And when you did that energetically, however it is physically that you did that, the tower followed. And it was for the Knight of Wands. Whoever it was that came to drop off some wand, this energy that rushed in, rushed out really quickly, which looks to be this King of Wands energy, okay? A tower. They're going through a tower. They are. Uh-huh. And the whole family is in dire straits, okay? Yeah, they've taken very big losses. They're losing everything, okay? This is a whole family that's been impacted by this energy. But I don't think they thought about that when they came for you with the Ten Swords is what I'm getting. Tell us about this tower. Tell us about this tower. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. All right, got a flipper. Yeah, they definitely want to get a message to you because nothing's going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a stalemate energy. Yeah, you definitely can have this energy block. This energy definitely, you know, look, this is a baking energy is what I'm getting. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, this is someone that sees you as self-sufficient, okay? And they got their hand out. This Five of Pentacles tells it all. We have a we have a King of Pentacles that's in the Five of Pentacles energy behind giving you a Ten of Swords, okay? Make it make sense, all right? Give me this King of Wands. Tell us more about this energy of this King of Wands. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, a King of Pentacles, all right? And, the, excuse me, a Queen of Pentacles. They're connected to a Queen of Pentacles, all right? This Queen of Pentacles, which is a baby mama, so we got the baby daddy and the baby, look, they're together, however they get it, okay? They're broke, they're busted, they're disgusted, and this is not a union, okay? This is an unhappy home that's going through some hard times, all right? Ooh, okay? Two of Cups is behind this. This is a divine union. Uh, you know what? This Queen of Pentacles feels like the reason why they're being blocked in this energy, uh-huh, and are losing everything, they feel like it's because someone interfered in a divine union, all right? And that may be so, okay? Because that's exactly what I'm getting. Yeah, with the empress, yeah, so there was definitely some interference, okay? And guess what? You probably didn't even really need this interference to happen. It was all going to, you know, blow up. Anyway, because of the way you were handled by this energy of a Knight of Wands, who is a King of Pentacles, okay? So let's talk about this, all right? This interference when it comes to this here Queen of Pentacles, who feels some type of way about the King of Wands, okay? They know that this energy is grieving over you, all right? And it's a feeling that they can't shake. And you have nothing to do with it. That's the killer part, all right? You're sitting on your throne somewhere chilling. Give me this Queen of Pentacles. What's going on with the Queen of Pentacles? Oh, that's way too many. What's going on with the Queen of Pentacles? Spirit? Just one card for the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, a bunch of damn burdens, okay? 
And again, it's a stalemate. They're not moving anywhere. Overall energy, two of swords, 10 of wands, 10 of swords. So they wanted for you not to move anywhere. This person could be sick as well, okay? They've been laid out. They've been laid out, all right? Yes, they have. Uh-huh, and look, all they could think about is a new beginning for themselves. This is somebody who's watching you and your energy and desiring to have what it is you have, but it's been a death to any dreams that they have when it comes to this. I can't make this shit up, excuse my French. Give me the burdens for the Queen of Pentacles. Give me the Ten of Wands for this Queen of Pentacles energy. Yeah, all right. Mm, yeah, they're wishing on a star. They're trying to keep the hope. They're trying to keep the faith, but they can't escape it. They're blocked. They're blocked in the energy. This is a universal blockage, okay? They're being blocked by the universe. They are. Them and their friends, whoever it is they were celebrating with, they're all being blocked together, okay? Yeah, people from the past, they're definitely being blocked. Tell us about the star in the... Ten of Wands, the star in the Ten of Wands. Look, this is karma coming back to a Queen of Cups energy. Yeah, it is. It could be a Pisces, all right? They can have a heavy Pisces placement, doing magic in your energy, okay? Being a magician. This is that interference that we've seen happening in the energy. Yeah, on a Two of Cups, on a Two of Cups. So someone could have, you know, this person's baby mama, wife, whatever it is to them in their energy, they knew who you were in this energy, and they wanted to make sure that you would disappear. Some of these people even tried to unalive you, okay? You got the manifesting right here with the magician and, you know, having you in this energy of being blocked as well, okay? This is something that somebody tried to do to you, but what I see is everything, they're caught up in their head about everything that it is they wished on you actually happening to them in this energy. Yeah, that's what's going on. Tell us more about this Queen of Cups. Her and her boo thing is, you know, looking at some really hard times. The future is not looking so bright for these energies. Look, as far as things go, you're moving forward in this energy and someone is under judgment, okay? Yeah, you can even see this as the energy is as you move forward in this energy, you have gone through a rebirth, all right? There's a King of Swords here in your energy, all right? Yeah, let's talk about it. You're moving forward towards a King of Swords. That's the judgment is what I'm getting. Yeah, give us this Leo. I'm feeling this Leo energy. Your person, again, could have a Leo placement, but it's heavy because the sun is here along, as, uh, along with the Strength card, okay? Give me the Strength card, Spirit. Strength card for my Libras. Yeah, strength card for my Libras. All right. Yeah. So, look, someone is trying to find their balance in this energy, but they're manifesting, okay? They're manifesting. This is someone needing to find their balance. <clears throat> I can't make it up. This is major manifestation. Someone definitely feels some type of way, and they do want to come in hot and ready with you as well, okay? But I see this as something from someone who actually has some integrity about themselves is what I'm getting. Give me the two of pentacles. Two of pentacles for Libra. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Yeah, this energy may feel as if you are blocking them. Um, are, they feel like there is a blockage when it comes to the Ten of Cups for them, okay? Yeah, but they're looking to find their balance. Temperance angels behind this. Ten, excuse me, seven of wands. I'm seeing that you have the upper hand. This, your person could feel like you have the upper hand. Like, you know, mm, give me the seven of wands here. Give me the seven of wands for this energy. Thank you. Yeah, you're somebody's wish fulfillment. And they definitely have a cup of love for you, okay? This is someone who is youthful in the energy, and they feel like they have some blockages. That's happening, but you're definitely a wish fulfillment for them with this here Ten of Cups energy. Tell us more about this Nine of Cups energy for Libra's person. Tell us more about this energy. Thank you, Spirit. All right. 
Yeah, they feel like this could be a missed opportunity, all right? They do. And this Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. They're holding on tight. They feel like they have a blockage when it comes to you. It's something that leaves them stuck in this energy. Give me the Nine of Cups with this Four of Cups. Nine of Cups with the Four of Cups for my Libra. Tell us about this energy. Thank you. High Priestess Energy. All right. So there is a collaboration. Three of Pentacles that this energy wants to move forward in is what I'm getting. But a High Priestess Energy. All right. Mm-hmm. And they've been thinking about it, retreating. This person is, you know, uh, going through how it is, you know, they are looking to connect with you when it comes to a new beginning and prosperity, abundance, health, wealth, all of that. It's a lot on this individual's mind, okay? Give me the high priestess. They could have a Pisces placement as well. They could have a vertical placement also, okay? Yeah, they're watching you. They're definitely watching you. They could be, you know, spying, just trying to keep up with you and your energy because they do want to come towards you with some conversation, some truth, and they want to make some changes in the energy with this Knight of Swords being the overall energy. Definitely want to see some changes happen. Now, you know, there's this King of Pentacles. I, I just really want to leave him alone. Because he's already out in the call. Let's just dig off some more into this here. Um, you know, they are in this energy of watching you right now. Who's watching the Empress? Who's watching the Empress? Who's watching the Empress? Mm, it's a King of Cups who wants to collaborate with you. All right? Yeah. Overall energy is a king of cups, and they can't wait to collaborate with you, is what I'm getting. Yeah, they're all in their head about it. They are. They could be waiting on you. Yeah, that's the truth. They see you as victorious. They are manifesting you. They see you as the four of wands. You are the new love. They're holding on tight. They've been in their head, and you are their two of cups. Yeah. Uh-huh. Give me the Three of Cups. Give me the Three of uh, Pentacles, Spirit. Three of Pentacles for my beautiful, beautiful Libras. Yeah, they definitely want to offer some reciprocity. Six of Pentacles in the energy with the Page of Pentacles. They want to manifest something brand new in the energy. They do. And you got the ancestors that are backing this as well, all right? Yeah. Tell us about the Six of Pentacles. They're manifesting. It's coming towards you. A lot of passion in this energy. Give me the man. Give me the magician. They could have Gemini. <laughs> Virgo energy as well. In their chart. Yeah. They love you a lot. And they've been really thinking about you. Every night, like, stressed out. Dealing with some anxiety. They are. They know that you're this two of cups energy, all right? And this is stronger than any comeback from a karmic could ever be. Beautiful ones, this is your reading. I am Empress 444, and this is the Tarot Dynasty. I'll be back in the energy soon. Peace and love.